It is a great day when one can stand before a group of such accomplished eighth graders to celebrate the end of a momentous chapter in your lives. My name is Cynthia Johnson, and I am your interim superintendent for Arlington Public Schools. I have been here for over 30 years, well before all of you were born. One of the reasons why I love my job is because I get to remind incredible students like you of your value and how far you've come and how far you can go. When I was in middle school, I was taller than all my peers. It was awkward. I was also confused when trying to figure life out. I had many questions. This discomfort and confusion often got in the way of building my confidence. I still ask those questions to this day, but I love myself for who I am. One thing I've learned since my middle school years is that those questions aren't supposed to stop you. They're supposed to guide you. Ask questions, have dreams for your future, and try not to worry about the small stuff. With the right mindset about doing what is right, you'll find that your I can, should, and will mindset will lift you up. Tell yourself, I should be patient and fair with myself. I will surround myself with only good things that lift me up. I can be bold and use my voice. What if you make mistakes or encounter hardships? Say, I should, to learn from those mistakes. I will take responsibility for my actions. I can forgive myself and keep going. This will make you stronger. As our future leaders, you get to make the call someday and the important decisions of the shoulds, woulds, and cans that make you a better person and this world a better place. Congratulations, class of 2020, on your eighth grade promotion. Don't be afraid of the heights of your greatness. May your life be full of experiences that propel you to do what you should, what you will, and what you can to accomplish your big dreams. Good morning, Williamsburg Wolves. I'm Barbara Cannonan, a member of the school board, and I bring you greetings from the full school board. We are all so proud of you. We know this wasn't the end of your eighth grade year that you were expecting or that any of us wanted, but the good news is you are on your way to high school. We hope you have a great summer. We're very proud of you, and we look forward to seeing you next year. Take care, everyone. Hey, eighth grade, it's your AP Dr. Ellis. As your assistant principal, I get to give you a little principal-like advice before you march off to high school. So here it is. Take care of one another. You're gonna need each other as you would transition to high school, and you're gonna rely on each other for support throughout that time. It'll fly by, trust me. Make intelligent decisions. Not some of the time, but all the time. We all know some of the pressures you'll be confronted with, but be wise about your decision making. Find your rhythm. Take time to try new things. Try it for a club. Continue to join a sports team. Make good friends. Just be a good citizen. Take a stand. It's never too early to begin to tackle some of the challenges facing humanity today. To name a few, hunger, prejudice, environmental destruction, and sickness. Be courageous love, and show kindness. I am so grateful to have been your assistant principal this year. I wish you the best. Good luck in high school. Go Wolves. Good morning, eighth graders. <coughs> I'm sorry, almost high school freshmen. Many of you came to Waynesburg in 2017. I've watched you grow academically, physically, emotionally, socially. And I'm just proud to see you here in 2020 at this moment now where you're about to be promoted. I just want to say I'm proud to have been your assistant principal. I look forward to seeing you do great things as you move into high school. And congratulations, class of 2020. 
Hi, amazing eighth graders, it's Miss Brinkle here. Congratulations on your promotion to ninth grade. I am so proud of each and every one of you. I cannot wait to see you. I hope to see you next year when you stop by to visit me. Um, just remember to be supportive of one another, kind, and always believe in yourself. Have a great summer, stay healthy and safe, and I hope to see you next school year when you come by Williamsburg to see me. My name is Charlie Finn, and I'm a graduating senior from Yorktown High School. First off, thank you to Mr. Boykin and Mr. Peacock for the opportunity to share in what is Williamsburg's first and hopefully last virtual promotion ceremony. Hello to those watching moms, dads, siblings, grandparents, friends, staff, and of course, eighth graders. Congratulations. I want to share with you all some thoughts to carry with you into high school, address the uniqueness of your situation, and hopefully give you some encouragement and ideas on how to make the most of this difficult time. On the day of my middle school promotion, I got up, I got dressed in a jacket and tie. My parents dropped me off at Williamsburg, where I met up with friends, processed into the gym to the tune of pomp and circumstance, waved to my family in the bleachers, and sat down next to the 400 kids I had shared those three years with. Afterwards, there was a reception outside where I talked to my friends and posed for pictures. You all are watching this from your couches or your beds, your basements or your living rooms. You're not getting to hear the band play live and you will not get pictures with your classmates. And that experience will not be replaced and there is little I can say to make up for it. So where does that leave us? You are done with school for the year and likely facing a summer with little to do. For the first time, your parents can't nag you about getting up in time for camp or swim practice. So how will you use your time? During the Great Plague of London in 1665, Sir Isaac Newton developed the ideas behind his laws of motion, which are the basis for classical mechanics. He began his work on calculus and conducted his famous prism experiment, which was the foundation for his theories on light. He had time alone and free range of imagination with no duties or responsibilities other than that of what he imposed upon himself. Now, I don't expect all this out of any of you, but the point is that you have decisions to make about how to spend your time and your parents have a limited ability to make those decisions for you. Believe it or not, this will be good training for high school where you're going to be making more and more decisions for yourself. I want to share with you a bit of my story and a difficult decision I just had to make about how to spend my time in the coming year. Up until recently, I had planned on doing a gap year after I graduated high school with a friend. We had plans to trek through the Guatemalan highlands, teach at a school in Nepal, and work at a co-op of women's weavers in Peru. Then COVID struck. While my friend had always been a little gun shy about going on our crazy adventure, the thought of doing a full semester or more of online school made him fully on board for the gap year. I, on the other hand, felt the exact opposite. Our plans were now at risk to fall through due to travel restrictions or a second wave, and my gut told me to take the practical route and go to college. The decision kept me up for many late nights, consumed hours of phone calls between my friend and I, and caused me to go back and forth on what to do. My parents told me that it was my decision to make and they would support whatever I decided. What made the decision so difficult was that I was giving up on a dream I had held for more than a year and also in some ways disappointing my friend who was deferring college no matter what. But ultimately I decided that my opportunity to travel and explore the world was still to come and right now my time was best spent getting started on my college degree even if it was remotely. The reason I tell you this is that the biggest difference between middle school and high school is the independence. You've heard this before, I'm sure, but your decisions are no longer going to be made by solely your parents. Are you going to go out with your friends or stay home and study? Are you going to take a nap after school or go to practice? And as it relates to right now and the summer ahead, are you going to become the best Fortnite player from Williamsburg? Are you going to build a bike or start a journal or learn to code? Are you going to tune out the protests occurring around the country, or are you going to take the opportunity to educate yourself on police violence and our history of racial injustice? Doing one of the latter takes a lot of courage and time. I know you have time, and I challenge you to believe in your own courage. And with all that being said, the most important thing about making a choice is being informed. Your parents, teachers, coaches, friends will all give you pieces of advice over your time in high school, but I wanna take this opportunity 
to give you three pieces of advice so that you take the right first steps. First, pick one of your teachers next year, the one who strikes you as interesting or caring, and get to know them. Go into their classroom during lunch, free periods, or after school to work on problems or papers. Show them you care by asking questions in class and doing homework. Be proactive. Find this teacher early so that when you need something or when you need someone to talk to, you have that teacher in your corner. Their teachers, perhaps many, you won't see eye to eye with, but having just one will make your life in high school a lot easier. Second, try something new. There are some of you who probably plan on playing sports all three seasons. A number of you are going to play in the band, the orchestra, sing in the choir, or act on stage. But remember this, your high school has more to offer than what you already do. What piques your interests? Robotics, creative writing, model general assembly. And if you're worried you don't know any of, about any of these things, that's okay. You'll be a freshman. You aren't expected to know how to debate over law or write incredible short fiction. And this fall, and even right now, would be a great time to get involved in politics. So there's something out there for you, and I, and I challenge you to stretch yourself and find it. Finally, and this is the most important piece of advice I can give you, especially right now, be kind. When you enter your high school for the first time, whenever that may be, you will have no idea the struggles of some of your classmates and the students sitting next to you, to your right, could have parents who lost a job or are getting divorced. The person sitting to your left could be struggling from the loss of a family member. This is not an easy time for anyone, and it is impossible to know or understand the struggles caused by all this isolation and uncertainty. Saying hello to someone you don't know, trying to strike up a conversation with the student who is sitting alone, even just smiling at kids in the hallway can go a long way. So please be kind. As I end here, I want to remind you all that when you guys graduate from high school, you will be there in person, surrounded by your classmates, and I believe you will appreciate it and enjoy it all the more because of today. Congratulations and good luck. It is now time to celebrate our amazing eighth graders. Congratulations on your promotion to ninth grade. Go Wolves! Miss Boyd's TA, Oja Chaudhry, Natalie Diaz Vasquez, Daniel Duke, Maite Gutierrez Rodriguez, Hannah Marone, Griffin Morse, Mia Nevin, Taylor Norris, Freya Olson, Shane Slater, Elizabeth Stavish, Donovan Trampa. Miss Briones TA, Kelly Schimmel, Victoria Estevez, Mark Fontaine, Ellie Greco, Ivan Hughes, Elizabeth Libby LaPierre, Pierce Lachlan, Dylan Lefton, Peter Melendez, Hannah Portner, Sophia Sheldon, Christina Trimble, Samantha Whitlock. Miss Coolahan's TA, Leah Burpee, Addison Dana, Rachel Diaz, Eric Edwards, Rebecca Garland, Pauline Copas Hemmen, Eleanor Meehan, Javier Murray, Riley Phillips, Layla Silva, Gretchen Smith, Dylan Yeo. Miss Davidson's TA, Alexander Andreeve, Melody Benitez, Cole Blotcher, Reese Colbert, Sarah Friend, Maya Hartman, Sydney Katzel, Harry Labalestier, Michael Marshall, Kai Osawa, John Pierce, Adam Rafi, Olivia Sebastian, Abigail Taylor, Matthew Wagner, Samantha Weiner. Mr. Klink's TA, Alina Kutlakis Hickson, Ellen Fay, Kate Haley, Amelia Hartstock, John Leah, Julia Logan, Taylor Mitchell, Andrew Murray, Cam Nguyen, Dina Nguyen, Jordan Oscott, Sarah Paget. Michael Varley, Jackson Welsh, Riley Whitaker. Miss Lawrence's TA, Camille Ashi, David Doyle, Aubrey Harnett, Julia Hoggery, Lauren Heydrich, Charlotte Knight, Alexander Kornblatt, Alexander Leon, Piper O'Connor, John Offit, 
Jake Olandoff, Braden Grissino, Eleanor Price, Abigail Schwartz, Kaya Sicatra, Cecilia Spadetti. Mr. Luango's TA, Jacob Agnew, Aliyah Burgett, Telemoon Brian Bajago, Arthur Dedet, Miriam Elgindi, Eleni Guerrera, Sydney Ancetta, Catherine King, Nora Kate Lincoln, Aiden Lohmeyer, Luke Madden, Lauren McDonald, Nicholas Winters. Mr. Bencarini's TA, Carter Billings, Everett Broadbent, Sophie Couder, Michael DeCenza, Nolan Dunkel, Emma Jocklin, Owen Levine, Jackson Lynch, Madison Mascindello, Olivia Nelson, Brianna Padilla, Marin Peel, Katalia Pressman, Jacqueline Skolton, Kylie Williams, Alexander Yaskin. Mr. Miller's TA, Katrin Bonner, Lucas Bragan, Ella Haynes, Isaac Hobbs, Caleb Layton, Colin Leonard, Emily McCoy, Brian Mahanti, Laura McKenzie, Thomas Ogden, Claire Ryan, Julia Salem, Roman Stice, Darina Togoldashev, Hannah Ordonick, Mason Yu. Miss Murphy's TA, Umakar Abdi, Elliot Block, Moses Boyd, Merlin Brown, Robert Carlson, Rom Jackson Danzig, Kieran Gibbs, Romeo Gratterall, Elizabeth Hone, Mather Hydrick, Madeline Kosmatic, Patrick McCauley, Ainsley McCoy, Sean Namo, Ingrid Olson, Christine Shear, Gavin Spain, Alan Thong. Congratulations, Mr. Parchams TA. Rajan Foster, Blake Golden, Philippa Pippa Jones, Julia Larmy, Nora Long, Elizabeth McGregor, Kendall Moore, Eric Nelson, Sophie Newman, Christopher Nordwall, Matthew Pedicano, Anna Sarkeesian, Beckett Singh, and John Voigt. Congratulations, Mr. Risers TA. Brinkley Baker, Laura Brown, Jennifer Farhado, John Gorman, James Hart, James Heyman, Alana Helm, Madeline Lackey, Catherine Leland, John Kikoya Olive, William O'Neill, Mira Vashith, Thomas Warner, and Hayden Whittington. Congratulations, Mr. Sean Feltz TA, Eric Chung, Caitlin Cox, Elijah Dale, Kira Destasso, Lauren Edwards, Nathan Evans, Tanya Fetisiva, Shannon Hayes, Grace Josepher, Lucas Rist, Emily Patmore, Jack Rusa, Olivia Shia, John V. Spar, and Sam Watchman. Congratulations, Mr. Screepex TA, Grant Churchill, Ellington Emery, Mackenzie Irvin, Ava Jones, David Makel, Nathan Menard, Nicholas Meyer, Emma Paul, Aaron Sugarman, John Thomas, Aubrey Vasquez, Taylor Wall, and Alexis Williams. Congratulations, Ms. Smallfelt's TA, Sebastian Chipman, Carolyn Corcoran, Gavin Doherty, Carson Driscoll, Maximilian Farrell, Katia Flores, Edmund Gabir Selassie, Anna Lupitas, Olivia Laws, Sophie Lewis, Grace McCool, Ryan O'Day, Delaney Persino, Dasho Prather Long, Samantha Stern, and Nora Whitehead. Congratulations, Ms. Smith TA, Salome Ambelu, Kara Atkins, Samantha Bloomquist, Eric Chavez Sorto, Maximilian Dykstra, Leanna Efrick, Sarah Furches, Henry Neff, Samantha O'Brien, Porter Parrish, Emmy Sapala, Rohan Singh, and Keegan Westoff. Congratulations, Ms. Stewart's TA, Olivia Barros, Jacob Bowen Glazeroff, 
Madeline Brown, Riley Demery, Eric Evans, Avery Fitzsimmons, Logan Francis, Mary Grenade, Christian Haddad, Mia Weiss, Ian Mitchell, Charles Rash, and Brian Slattery. Congratulations, Ms. Thomas's TA, Zachary Black, Ava Bowen, Yokanan Cochran, Eamon Dunn, Olivia Hartel, Catherine Q, Amelia Lucen, Alexis McGollarick, Margaret O'Keefe, Lily Roberts, Catherine Snyder, and Maxwell Whittington. Congratulations, Mr. Troubles TA. Saeed Palo Ahmad, Faye Butler, Charlotte Hans, Diego Hess, Chao Ching Wang, Murphy Keller, Bryce Luncher, Lucy Mallon, Margaret McNally, Gabrielle Nishi, Ivy O'Connor, and Alexander Shribra. Congratulations, Ms. Warden's TA. Dora Bowen Glazeroff, Ellie Bream, Tyler Chase, Sasha Green, Jake Greenberg, Eliza Gramada, Paige Hoffman, Sydney Kaiser, Rohan Monacom, James McLennan, Aiden Reese, Monica Rios Hernandez, Brooke Whitaker, and Angelina Yoha. Congratulations, Ms. Willis's TA, Ujala Aslam, Tyler Bardick, Lauren Bethencourt, Hannah Bigley, Grace Fettig, George Firebaugh, Adam Camholes, Katie Kinzer, Lucas Martelli, Leah Musser, MJ Robinson, Sophie Thomas, and Garrick Wilcombe. To the Williamsburg Middle School Class of 2020, faculty, staff, and our community at large. If you told me that when the school year began that no student would earn perfect attendance, everyone made it to class on time, sleeping in was allowed, and the dog actually could have eaten the homework, I would not have believed it. When I was trying to figure out what I wanted to say, it wasn't as easy as it has been in years past because we are not exactly living under ideal conditions. On March 13th, we closed the doors of our schools due to COVID-19. And on May 25th, the unnecessary death of Mr. George Floyd brought to life a global movement for social justice and systemic change. We have been through a lot collectively the last few months, but this will not last forever. Three years ago, when we all started this journey, I made a personal commitment to this class that WMS would be a place that creates the future we can believe in. Who knew that this three-year process and message would be exactly what we needed today? I stand before you encouraged because we have given you the tools to do just that. With that being said, this is your day, and I want to share a few things that you have given us as well. Create the future. As sixth graders, you fueled us with your curiosity and excitement for learning and fear of everything for three weeks. I remember seeing many of you at the student activities fair a month later and asked what extracurricular activities you would be interested in. And the response was all of them. The future was bright and anything was possible. Your energy was infectious during the fall and winter months. It was like you couldn't get enough of school. Then the spring arrived, and we were secretly wondering if the teachers had enough left to make it to the summer. We can. As seventh graders, the goal was to help you become a little more independent by teaching you to use all of your resources. This is when you all learned that there was strength in numbers. So you transition from individual acts of subtle defiance like one person leaving a mess at the cafeteria table to everyone leaving trash behind and challenging us to figure out who did it. Because of your growing collaborative spirit, 
and our insistence on teachers using cooperative learning strategies, you all learned how to beat the system together. Believe in. As eighth graders, the staff along with your parents quickly realized that you had opinions about everything and it was time for your voice to be heard. Part of your legacy at WMS will be many of you telling me how to improve wolf time by giving me your honest feedback during quarterly Wolfpack lunches, your first two years. Because of your voice, our students now have choice in what they do for enrichment each day. Little did I know, this was just the beginning for this class. In October of 2019, a small contingency of your classmates exploded onto the national scene with youth leaders from around the country and participated in a roundtable discussion with the First Lady of the United States and U.S. Secretary of Health and Human Services to advocate for stricter regulations regarding access to electronic cigarettes for children. You all have been solving problems since you set foot on campus, and it's because of efforts like these that we can't help but feel inspired. These are the moments that define us, and this is why we believe in you. In closing, I want to leave you with a quote from Muhammad Ali. Impossible is just a big word thrown around by small men or women who find it easier to live in the world they were given than to explore the power they have to change it. Impossible is not a fact. It's an opinion. Impossible is not a declaration, it's a dare. Impossible is potential. Impossible is temporary. Impossible is nothing. To the class of 2020, we have given you our best over the last three years, but this is just one stop on your life's journey. Continue to create the future we can believe in. Go Wolves. I'd like to wish the class of 2020 congratulations and best of luck next year in high school. However, you did miss a couple things in the fourth quarter that I don't want you to, you know, forget about before you go to high school. Me and my whistle. And one thing you did not get to hear in the fourth quarter, I'll play it for you now just so... You know. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively Remember, gets more difficult line. as it Don't continues. Cheat, but the 20 meter pacer test Congratulations, will begin in 30 class seconds. Line up at the start. I believe this class can do anything that they set their minds to. You've already got a head start on that. And so remember, education is the key. It's the key to your future. Now go out and get it. We'll miss the immense amount of talent and kindness of this eighth grade class. One word to describe you guys is strong. Advice I have for high school is to be committed and to find things that you're passionate about. And I believe that this eighth grade class can persevere through the hard times we're going through right now and you will change the world. Eighth graders, be creative, keep playing music, but most importantly, just be yourself because yourself is awesome. Good luck everybody next year. Uh, just a couple words of wisdom maybe, or lack thereof to send you on your way. Um, for high school and in life, make sure that you guys are working hard, that you are always asking questions, that you take responsibility for your actions. I know it sounds like an easy thing to do, but it's one of the hardest things to do in life, but it really does go a long way. And believe that you guys can do absolutely anything that you set your minds to. You're living through such a difficult time right now, something that you will never forget. But we will get through this. We will get to say goodbye to you, hopefully, when you come back to WMS. And good luck and Godspeed in the future. What will I miss about this class? I will miss being able to finish out the school year with them because, to be honest, this class for me has been like a breath of fresh air. It has been my joy and pleasure to teach them this year, and I'll miss each and every one of them. What do I think is possible for this class? Well, 
and the immortal words of El Gorro, best friend to Billy La Bufanda, clase, todo es posible. Muchas gracias, buena suerte y adios. Miss my TA, what a great group. I know you guys are going to do great. Eighth graders, I will miss your warm-hearted smiles. I did a social experiment this year as I stood at the door to our trailer. I flashed smiles to see how many of you would return them. Eighth graders, you passed with high marks. And you persisted, even in the midst of a pandemic. Eighth graders, you are resilient. Now, ninth graders, my advice to you is to believe. Wear a believing hat before you wear a doubting hat. Believe in yourselves. Believe in each other. You will make high school and the world a better place. Eighth graders, I hate that we can't say goodbye in person, but I will always remember you guys as a very bright, enthusiastic group. A little bit social, too, but we had a lot of fun. Uh, keep working hard. Uh, you guys will do great in high school. See ya. Hello, Williamsburg. Just want to say congratulations to the eighth grade class and wish you well on your promotion today. Also, I wish you a very bright future filled with lots of happiness and success. Enjoy, Miss Coolahan. Eighth graders, but especially my Cavs kids. Listen, you can't live your life through a screen. We've learned that over these past couple months. Once all this silliness is over, I want you to get out there and I want you to experience life. You can't do it on a phone. You can't do it through a laptop or an iPad. I want you to get out there and have fun. Good luck in high school. And as the chief elder from The Giver says, thank you for your childhood. Hello, eighth graders. My advice to you in high school is to get your math homework done first. All right, Wolf TV, it's time for the final show of the year. And I've just got one thing to say to you. Quite on set, quite on set. We're going on in five, four, three. This eighth grade class was so fun and energetic. And, you know, I was able to see you guys persevere through two months of distance learning and how you adapted to that change was remarkable. So I can't wait to see you guys change the world someday. Eighth grade, just wanted to say good luck. We love to have you here at Waynesburg and we hope you the best in high school. Hi, eighth graders, it's Mrs. Warden. And before we get started, just a quick little disclaimer. I'm a science teacher, not Charlie D'Amalio. I will miss my TA lunches with my students, my basketball girls gossip in the hallway. But seriously, guys, one word that comes to mind is bougie. When I think of this class, every day was magical and we were always so bougie. And TA, please don't ever forget Karen. And to all you eighth graders, good luck, do your best, never give up, and always wear those safety goggles in science class. I will miss you all. Bye, guys. A word that embodies this class is curious. While some of you came in curious about how much you could get away with in class, most of you began the year with a curiosity for learning. You've spent the year asking great questions and trying to understand concepts from different angles. Stay curious. Congratulations, eighth graders, on your promotion. This is Mr. Clint coming to you from my dining room with my lovely quarantine hair. Again, congratulations. You've worked very hard to get to this point. Now, take some time to enjoy it, and don't forget, use those nice words. Bye-bye. grade. Just wanted to say good luck in high school and can't wait to see all the things you accomplished there and beyond. It was great having you here for the last three years and watching you all grow. 
graders, congratulations on being promoted into high school. This is an exciting time for you. And I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Remember, stay driven and keep working hard. Congrats. Hello, WMS class of 2020 or high school class of 2024. Ms. Thomas here. And I just wanted to say how much fun I've had with you this year. What I really love about you is your sense of humor. I believe that you're gonna make the world a better place where we can live in harmony with each other and with the environment. So what you waiting for? Get it done. We're waiting for you. Hi, class of 2020. Uh, the one thing I'll miss most about you is um, your authenticity and your confidence in who you are. And um, the one piece of advice I would give you is stay true to who you are, follow your passions, and put everything you have into those. Uh, best of luck, class of 2020. Discipoli carissimi, this is Magistra G coming to you from her dining room table, saying for the last time this school year, Walete et buona fortuna. Good morning, eighth graders. What I will miss most about this class are the wonderful students I've gotten to know over the last three years. Since I'm a sixth, seventh, and eighth grade teacher, I was lucky enough to have some of the, these great students in class again. This class is resilient. So I believe in this class to be strong and resilient in high school and beyond. Greetings, eighth grade. I just wanted to say goodbye and wishing you a lovely life. And before I go, I just want to tell you, I am going to miss your enthusiasm. And I'm also going to know that you are one of the most resilient classes I have ever met in my life. Good luck in the future.